How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. Um, tonight we're going to be doing another pumpkin style beer. Um, I say style beer because this one looks a little bit different. Um, it is from a semi-local outfit close to us, a very small brewery called Saucony Creek. And it is their Maple Mistress, which they say is an imperial ale uh, brewed with butternut squash and maple syrup and spices added. Um, I've heard some uh, rumblings about this. A friend of mine who owns a um, who owns a uh, six pack to go place had this on draft. Said it was pretty good. Uh, I've never had it before, so I'm pretty excited to uh, give it a whirl. Um, I'm actually I'm sure I've had something from Sockley Creek before since they are local, um, but I don't remember. Um, typically, that is a hint that not good things to come because if I don't remember, then it didn't blow me away. But um, I know smaller breweries tend to start off smaller, um, so I am not going to go into this with any preconceived notions, and hopefully it's pretty stellar. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, Saucony Creek's Maple Mistress, which I assume is their pumpkin beer. Um, it says here, butternut squash, maple syrup, and spices added. It's coming out this time of year, so it's their answer for a pumpkin beer. Um, instead of using pumpkin, and it seems like it's their butternut squash, as far as uh, label-wise, artwork, not the best, but I always, I mean, I'm not going to get too harsh on breweries, um, local ones, because they got to start somewhere. So, I mean, if you were to take the drawing of the, it's like a pirate girl holding pancakes, at like a bottle of booze. If you were to strip that down or change that drawing, I actually love the label. Just for something about that drawing irritates me. I work in an industry that has a lot to do with art and a lot to do with character drawing. So, I'm very picky about this stuff, so I shouldn't really be that critical. Anyway... Overall, besides that little piece, I actually dig the label. Um, it's really informative. There's a lot of stuff squished on there. Um, there's nothing, no cap uh, um, logo or anything. Uh, it's just a front label. And as far as what it says on uh, the label, it says Maple Mistress Imperial Ale. Ale brewed with butternut squash, maple syrup, and spices added. And here it says in very small print, it says, In the autumn of 1720, Captain Jack Rackham and his pirate mates were celebrating their victories in a typical hard-drinking tradition. Suddenly, a British naval sloop surprised them. The pirates hid below deck, leaving Captain Jack Mistress and Bonnie and Mary Reed to defend the ship. The women shared a reputation as fierce hellcats, but the British Navy eventually overtook the pirate ship. Captain Jack and the pirates were sentenced to hang. Anne visited her lover in the cell before his execution and insisted instead, or oh, not insisted, and instead of loving words, her scathing comments live on through history. Have you fought like a man? You never have not been hanged like a dog. It's kind of cool. Um, not quite sure what it has to do with the beer. I understand the whole pirate thing, but anyway, uh, it's all right. Uh, and then it says Sockety Creek Brewing, Kutztown, Pennsylvania. Known for their Kutztown University. Um, here it says, Brewed and Bottled, Sockety Creek Brewing, Kutztown, Pennsylvania. From farm to pint, our beer is alive. Unpasteurized keeps it chilled. Their legacy inspired us to brew an equally ferocious ale. Brewed with pirate spices. We added a touch of uh, fall flavor with butternut squash and natural maple syrup. 9.5% alcohol by volume. That's pretty good. Dig that that it's high ABV. Um, and government warning stuff, stuff like that. So yeah, kind of intrigued. Really uh, hoping this one, I always hope the local guys make good when it comes to beer. I mean, just because, you know, who doesn't want beer close to their house to be awesome? I mean, that's that's the whole goal. Like if a place opens locally and um, they make a beer and if I review it or I try it um, and I don't like it, Sometimes I feel like they're like, uh, feel like I'm trashing it on purpose. No, I want a place that is literally a mile away from my house to make the best beer I ever had because then I'd be able to get it all the time. So, yeah, it's not a matter of um, not liking local, it's a matter of expecting more from not just local, but from everybody. So, we want more. Hopefully, this delivers more. Had about a little pinky finger head uh, when I first poured it, receded very, very quickly, off white tint of beige head. Not much to it. As far as body-wise, it's not super cold, and that looks like it has a decent amount of density to it. Um, definitely, instead it's unfiltered, you can absolutely see that in the bottle, or in the, in the glass here. Um, you probably can't see it, but 
Definitely has a nice haziness to it. Looks like it's got a microscopic funk floating around in there, which for me is always a plus. Um, so let's see what they have smell-wise. Here's maple syrup in that sucker. Ooh, that smells delicious. Spicy, bit of maple syrup. Instead of an ale, wow, that actually smells really good. Um, yeast is even smell butternut squash. Like, this smells exactly what it's described at. When we get the taste, and it'll be the, the proof is in a pudding. But that smells really good. Really, really good. I could huff that sucker all day. I'm a big fan of the nose on this one. It just smells delicious. Like, it smells refreshing. It smells like a super jacked up Saison is kind of what it smells like. Like, a, you get those typical, like, uh, summery notes from a saison type beer with your little bit of spice, a little bit of uh, stuff. It just smells really, really good. Wow. I want to taste this. Cheers. That's a good beer. That's a really good beer. I don't like this. It tastes exactly what it, and, and this cannot be understated. What it says on the label is what it smells like, and it's what it tastes like. A lot of beers kind of jump the shark when it comes to that and be like, it's this ale, that ale. Like I said, it's probably their version of a pumpkin ale. When a pumpkin ale, a lot of pumpkin ales, they say they are pumpkin ales. They smell like pumpkin ales, but they don't taste like pumpkin ales. This This says it's an ale brewed with butternut squash, maple syrup, and spices. This smells like that, and it tastes like that. So, this is a really good beer. I'm a big fan of this. Wow, Sockney Creek. How about you guys bringing the heat? I mean, it's a ton of, um, definitely get the maple syrup in there, but it's not overly sweet. You definitely get the butternut squash. It's super, super flavorful. Like, it's not to be understated. Like, it's it's there, but it's not overpowering. And definitely some spices in there. Your nutmeg, clove, you know what I mean? Hint, 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 hint. Just a little bit of uh, ginger. It's, it's all there, and it's super well balanced. And it's super drinkable. Like, this has a very nice mouthfeel. Somewhere above middle density-wise. but not overly dense and super, super drinkable. This is 9.5% alcohol. The tiniest, 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 tiniest bit of heat on the back end. But I mean, it's so minuscule, it's not even worth mentioning. I really like this beer. This might be my favorite fall beer I've had this year, maybe of all time. Um, like I said, it has to take the call of pumpkin ale because it's not a pumpkin ale. It's a butternut squash ale with maple syrup. I think that maple syrup is kind of what puts it over the top. A lot of times the pumpkin ales are, I mean, butternut squash pumpkins, you're kind of talking semantics there. I mean, flavor-wise, they're obviously a little different, but as far as being a gourd's a gourd, um, it's really, really good beer. I mean, that, that maple syrup seems to kick it up a notch with a little bit of sweetness in a good way. In a good way. Hmm. That's really delicious. Um, rating wise, I can give it like a 91. This is a really good beer. Uh, I want to give it a higher rating. Um, I feel like I'm holding back on it for some reason. So if you look in the text below, typically what I've been doing lately, I've been rating it on video, been waiting about a week, and then I write down my ratings that way I force you suckers to watch instead of reading the ratings. Uh, but yeah, if I, uh, if I choose to rate this a little bit higher, um, check in the uh, rating below, but I'm thinking about a 91. Um, and that's well-deserved 91, like an easy 91. That's a stand-up triple 91. It's not like a got half error in the outfield, like stumbling around out in the outfield, horrible throw from the outfield, barely made it the third. This is a stand-up triple. Could have stretched it to a to a stand-up park home run if you really had a, the wheels on you, kind of 91. Um, yeah, really, really good beer um, overall. I mean, it's fantastic. Super drinkable, really flavorful. Really good, high ABV, hitting all the marks. Uh, as far as availability, it's a weird one because I've never seen it before. Um, never seen it before, heard of it. Friend, like I said, a friend of mine, I believe, got a sixth to love it. 
Um, didn't have it there. Uh, left tonight, and by chance, I was leaving where I parked from work, and the left-hand turn was bogged down, so I made a right one, took this little back road, and I passed this tiny little pizza joint that uh, has beer, and they had a Ford pack of it there. So I stopped in there, they had it, picked it up, and then when I was driving home, I stopped in another uh, beer to go place just randomly, and they had it there too. So it's a weird thing where I've never seen it before, I saw it twice in one day. So availability, I'm going to give it a five, only because I've only seen it twice, but I only saw it one day, and it's also seasonal, and it's also super local. I mean, you're talking about a 45-minute drive from me, so its distribution is probably quite small. Um, as far as value, this beer, four-pack, cost me $11. That's a fantastic value as far as if you're going to get this for $11 a four pack all day with that so I'm going to give it a 9 on the value scale so yeah 91 variable 91 because it's a stand up triple 91 um, availability 5 and did I say 5? Five? 5 we'll give it a 5 and uh, as far as value give it a 9 so yeah Saucony Creek really really good beer if you guys make stuff like this all the time and I'm not drinking it that's my problem because I'm not looking for it so definitely going to keep my eye out for some of your bigger beers um, yeah, so Saucony Creek Maple Mistress. If you like spice beers, if you like um, robust ales, if you like um, pumpkin beers, even though this isn't a pumpkin beer, this is something you should check out because it's that good. Saucony Creek Maple Mistress Imperial Ale, ale brewed with butternut squash, maple syrup, and spices added. Definitely check it out if you can get it. It's worth it, especially at its price point. Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with another review that's finally over. Another review in the books. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed drinking this beer. Uh, if you enjoyed it or you didn't enjoy it or whatever, leave comments, scrapes or whatever in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can on uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram at Massive Beers. We're probably the most active on Instagram. Uh, we post beers we're drinking, reviews we're going to post, review updates. All kinds of stuff on there. So if you can check us out anywhere, check us out there. And uh, yeah, another one down. Hopefully you enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're drinking a good beer. And hopefully you see you guys next time. Cheers.